Europe in the 1950s. Jean Dubuffet is the dissident of the avant-garde, an artist who ransacked the natural world and transformed it directly into his art. Escaping war-torn Paris, Dubuffet became preoccupied with the countryside he passed along the way. The most beautiful valleys in all France, I'd say perhaps in all the world. In L'Homme au Papillon, we understand the figure as Dubuffet himself, with his distinctive features and trademark wide-brimmed cap, walking in harmony with a fluttering butterfly. Butterflies were a recurring theme for Dubuffet, who often applied their wings directly onto his canvases. L'Homme au Papillon reflects the same kaleidoscopic color of these pieces and invites a dialogue between abstraction and figuration, imagination and reality. If the mid-1950s were significant for Dubuffet artistically, they were equally important for his career, for this is when his relationship with the collector E.J. Power began. One of the great post-war collectors, Ted Power almost single-handedly brought abstract expressionism to Britain. He was also Dubuffet's greatest champion, owning more than 80 of his works. Power's impact on Britain's institutional art collections is unparalleled. Many of his key works can be seen today at Tate Modern, with others residing at other top museums around the world. That L'Homme Papillon is from the collection of Ted Power only adds to its importance. Critically, L'Homme Papillon demonstrates the creative dialogue that Dubuffet shared with the likes of Jackson Pollock, Willem de Koenig and Clifford Still artists he had lived amongst in New York just two years before creating this painting, and artists that hung side by side with Dubuffet in Power's collection. A work of creative confidence, conceptual veracity and immense executional skill, L'Homme Papillon is a tribute to Dubuffet's impact on the international avant-garde and is testimony to the legacy of Power's influential vision as a collector.